What up, everybody? It is Crypto Moose, and the moose is loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. We've got a special episode for you today. What we're going to do is provide a free PDF that you can download. So we will have a link in the description below. And you can use this recovery seed sheet um, for any of your wallets. So what we're going to do is talk about what is a... Um, recovery seed and we're also going to show you how to do this step by step so a lot of you are just getting started in crypto and it can be quite difficult so if you do get something out of this video definitely subscribe smash a like button but only if you get something out of the video okay so let's start things off this is a 12 word recovery seed so you can see it right here I've got 12 words and what this is is the ability to recover a crypto wallet it's a mnemonic seed phrase so these are words that are an encrypted version of your private keys okay so when you're setting up a non-custodial wallet in crypto meaning a cryptocurrency wallet where you own the private keys meaning that you own these words well, if you ever lose access to your laptop or the device, or if you ever lose access to a hardware wallet, well, how are you going to be able to recover your tokens? That is done through your recovery seed phrase. So what I've done for you is I've created a link. It's in the description again. And what we have here is this template. So it's just got the option for you to write up to 12 words. You could also just use a piece of paper. I always recommend in my online courses, which we have in the link in the description below, that you could also just write down um, in one of your books. So go to the dollar store, go to Walmart, um, whatever it may be, have a dedicated book for your words and keep them in a separate spot um, than where your wallets are at. So definitely download this and that's what um, we're basically talking about in this course. So the way this works is that when you set up a new crypto wallet, it's going to show you 12, 15, or 24 words, typically 15 with Cardano, um, and it's 12 or 24 with most wallets. And these words represent your private keys. And what I wanna mention, and I just wanna dumb it down because a lot of people do not explain this well. And for example, this is a trust wallet for an online course I'm working on. and I just made up random words here. So this is something that you shouldn't share with anybody. The words you have, those are private. You are the one because you own the private keys. You're the one that can sign transactions, meaning sending crypto away from your wallet. Okay. So the first word on this wallet, when I set it up, let's say for example, is anatomy. So you want to make sure you write down number one, anatomy. Say word number two is worry. Write down worry, two, three, house, four, family, five, together. I'm just making up these words for this case. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we are going to set up a wallet and I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. Okay. So let me just get things set up here and I want to make this as simple as possible for you all. So if you haven't done so already, you guys can definitely um, do this yourself as well. So let's do a lace wallet. I think that will be pretty simple. So what I have to do is just um, remove this. So I've already got a lot of things set up, but I'm just going to remove this. So we're gonna type in lace wallet, and this could be for any um, blockchain that you choose. So we're gonna go here to lace.io and we're just going to do a non-custodial wallet. And again, this doesn't have to be Cardano, this could be a Bitcoin wallet, Ethereum, Solana, Binance, whatever you want. Um, the goal is just to show you how this works, right? I wanna dumb it down. So we're gonna add this to browser. And again, there are different wallets, right? The main crypto wallet is going to be this kind of wallet. It's a non-custodial wallet, a hot wallet, and it requires more responsibility, but you have authority over your keys. The other kind of wallet would be a cold storage wallet, 
which is also non-custodial, meaning you own your private keys. That's where you have, you know, um, a hardware wallet. Then you also have um, an online exchange. So this could be, for example, a centralized exchange. You would have like crypto.com or you would have Binance and that's where they, they hold your seed for you in a lot of cases. So this is one of the best ways to set up a wallet. So we're gonna add this to browser. So add to Chrome, add extension. Okay, so in the top right here, we're going to click on Lace. And we are going to set up a new wallet. Now you could click on restore wallet, but that's only if you have your words written down. So we're going to create a new wallet, okay? And it says, please read me. So we gotta scroll down here, okay? I accept and I agree. So wallet name, we're gonna do moose is loose. Next, we're gonna put in a password. It's just the wallet, I'm not even gonna use this, so it's going to be, actually I shouldn't even say it out loud. So you wanna write down your password. I'll write on the back here. Okay, so if you're setting up a wallet, this is how you do it. Let's rewrite this. Should be matching. I'm just making up this password as I go anyways. I did put in the right password. I guess two, three. You could add two, three to it. So this is a password I've never used before, so don't worry. Um, do not use this wallet. Okay, so here's where the magic happens. When you're setting up a non-custodial wallet, like a hot wallet, um, that's a Chrome extension tool. It could be a trust wallet on your phone. It's going to give you words. That's what this video is all about. So here we've got 24 words, quite a bit. So you can take this sheet and write down all 24 of these words. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna use the back of the paper. I'm gonna write one and we're gonna put treat. Number two, trophy. Make sure it's um, legible. Three, blade. Four, elegant. And you're gonna have different words than what I have displayed right here. So I just wanna reiterate that and you should never share these words with anybody. Five is tennis. Six, field. Seven, minutes and the first thing you want to do is just speed up and write it randomly but you got to do a decent job okay um, it doesn't matter how good your handwriting is and do not screenshot your words it's a security feature just don't do that 10 is damp 11 is pottery 12 is junk and I'm just gonna split this in the middle. So, so far, I've got my 12 words written. Looks like the crypto moose sign is um, reacting. Perhaps it wants to get involved. 14, 15, so number 13, we've got fit. 14, we have distance, 15, or sorry, 15, we have dwarf. 16, we have change. Next, so we have office, tone, 
clock. Then we have memory. Twenty two peanut twenty three insane twenty four nature. Okay. Maybe I'll write it a little bit better. All right. So on this sheet of paper, the one that you print out, of course you would write it down here. It's just that I've already filled in um, 12 of the words, so it doesn't really fit. So write down your password at the top, um, and then you can write down all 24 words. Um, a lot of Cardano wallets are 15 words, and some other wallets are 12. So just keep that in mind as well. So now we're going to do next, and now it wants us to enter our words. So make sure you do this properly. This is for the Lace wallet. All wallets are similar. Three is Blade. Four is Elegance. And nobody uses this wallet. This is a test wallet, okay? All right, Field. We're gonna try to speed this up. Minutes, at least I type decently fast. Harder with the pen in my hand, but nine, promote. So definitely check out the online courses we have. I teach a lot on crypto, whether it be uh, beginner level steps, um, setting things up. If you really just wanna protect your assets and really do this long-term, it's, it's definitely a good idea um, to at least check out the online courses. So junk, 13 is fit, I believe. So this is to make sure that you wrote down your words properly, because it's not gonna work if I misspelled one of these words. Sixteen, change. Um, Seventeen, office. 18 tone and of course it's easier when you're um, not trying to film and change camera angles at the same time uh, memory um, I, I would also like to know which what kind of videos that um, you would all like to see in the future I'm very interested I do read a lot of the comments so if there's anything you guys want me to cover perhaps a separate blockchain I talk about Cardano quite a bit okay nature boom so all done beautiful 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 so now we can go to wallet got it and one thing you want to do specifically with the lace wallet you're going to go to the top right and you're going to make sure you're under the main net okay and on top of that um, this is going to be your public address so send cardano to this address and you could begin to utilize the wallet some wallets like the nami wallet you also have to set collateral so this is to make sure that you have enough balance to pay th for the lovelace so lovelace is the equivalent to like satoshi so 0 0.000001 um ada so you want to make sure you you add enough because you got to pay for the fees um this wallet's pretty good um so if we go here we could also pin the wallet and you can view it in this small way here. Um, there's also staking, there's quite a bit you can do, but at the end of the day, the goal of this video was to teach you how to use or how to back up your recovery seed. So that being said, if you are going to set up a wallet, this is the most important thing if you want to own your digital assets for the long haul. So definitely guys, check out the channel. We have a free Cardano mini course. So if you click on this link, you can get access to an hour long Cardano course. Um, I believe we set up the Lace Wallet there as well. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Comment down below and we'll see you all in the next one.